is the energy vibration reading for the Sun Moon and Rising sign and I want to say to each and every one um, happy Thanksgiving it is a week of Thanksgiving and um, um, please support our channel by supporting the organization that I'm supporting in this um, year it is the power outreach um, ministries apostolic church they help the homeless and people unfortunate so please reach out to that I want to say to you Pisces I'm so grateful for your help your support the message that you have left to be on if this is the first time on my channel I hope you stay um, please um, um, share these videos like share thumbs up and I am asking each and every person no matter what is the situation in your life that you need to understand that love is the only thing that is real this is the fourth week of November the week begins from the 20th until the 26th on the 23rd it is Thanksgiving um, the first two days are going to be wonderful for you Pisces but the rest of the week is going to be a little out of balance because we go in the zodiac energy of fire and your water sign okay your focus is an organization in the reverse form and this can be good so let's see how can we um, look at this situation whatever that was playing out whatever an organization was doing whatever a group of people that you have connected with that was either ending you or making obstacles or um, you know becoming very insistent you know hurting you and you not even knowing it is now in the reverse form so this is good so um, a lot of reverse energies are coming up for a, a lot of signs in this week and you also have you know the reverse energies and you have the organization in reverse and this is good because whatever that this organization what was doing um, you are seeing what was playing out and it is okay because you know um people can lie for it sometimes but you see the truth of a situation so here we go the number seven seven seventy seven is going to be the energy vibration for you seven and three seven and three is ten and um this is going to be good this is weird because it's a weird week for you guys because we have um um we have you guys in the reverse form we have you know um, the four of Pentacles your financial situation in the reverse form and we also have the men because this um, and your your money um, the your, your money situation is in you know it's as if your savings is is going out so let's look at that and, and see what is happening but you have the number three and the number uh, seven which is your energy vibration reading so for you Pisces there's going to be a, a celebration with a seven of Pentacles oh my god this little thing is irritating even myself he has been coming up in so much readings so the number three there is a significant situation with the number three you're finally seeing something clearly you men are finally seeing something clearly and um, the king of ones is here okay the number seven is coming up for you guys you guys are on the right part whatsoever is happening do not worry about your um, savings and your financial situation whatever that has happened and whatever because you have the ace of Pentacles so the crowning of your week is the four of Pentacles in reverse and now you have the ace of Pentacles standing up so whatever your financial situation is it's going to be good so whatever situation that you had with an organization don't worry about it it's going to be okay so let's look on Monday we have an earth energy which is good hurt because your water and the zodiac energy is water and you have the energy of hurt so um the three of Pentacles is always that you're working together with someone to make something um, accessible to other people and this is very good so whatever that you're working with this is going to bring you success and also financial abundance in your life a lot of success and financial abundance in your life so you know don't be worried about this okay you have the energy of the seven of ones and this is good because whatever is happening the seven of ones is that you're protecting yourself against 
someone who has been listen to your conversation and want to know everything that you're doing there is really a little um, you're protecting yourself from this situation this energy keep on coming up for in this week for whoever and is carrying these energy vibration is someone who's creating conflicts someone that listen to other people information is um, espionage and that sort of a thing people listen to you your and, and sometimes it's not really from the government sometimes it's just private citizen doing this to other citizen there is some sick people in this world people and believe you me and I can't I can't even imagine that I'm going to sit down to listen to other people conversation I mean now I live in you know an apartment and I'm hearing other people you know moving uh, around in their apartment and that's it I will turn the television on because I don't really want to see whether or not I'm watching the television but this energy is obviously somebody that has been listening to your telephone conversation reading your mail and that sort of a thing be aware that this has been happening to you and protect yourself and hear and see that you're protecting yourself so I have no need to ask what is happening because the energy of protection is coming up that you're protecting yourself so that is good remember the crowning of the week you have the four of Pentacles in reverse it's as if all your you know savings and that sort of a thing is you know is up and this energy is letting you know that um, this energy is letting you know that um, the ace of Pentacles that you're going to be financial abundant so whatever is happening do not worry about you know all your savings is up and you're going to Thanksgiving and you're giving out everything and that sort of a thing because you're going to regain it and you're not going to regrain just a little bit you're going to regrain a lot so don't worry about you depleting your savings because you want to go to Thanksgiving or you want to do something and you're um, depleting your savings because trust me it is going to be coming back to you and you're not you it's going to be coming back to you so um, don't worry about it okay as we move forward on Thursday uh, for the people who are going to Thanksgiving dinner and that sort of a thing you have art break there's a situation that is going to happen you know you're trying to find yourself and you're not really feeling it and that sort of a thing and you feel art broken some people are feeling unbroken some people are like yeah I'm not really feeling it this year but anyway let me do it that sort of a thing and it doesn't have to be Thanksgiving but it's for a lot of people you're going to feel broken hearted on Thursday for whatever the situation is you have the energy of the angman because you're trying to find yourself and find out you know like what's happening so let's see don't worry you will have the money yeah yeah <laughs> you will have the money to go and spend time so whatever that was happening is as if you deplete your savings to come and then you're feeling a bit heartbroken but don't worry because um, the nine of coins is here and you're getting a message that the money is coming in and you are with people um, your soul family or your family so have no worry because everything is going to be okay okay for the people who are connecting with their family for Thanksgiving for the, the rest of the people you know don't worry about what is going on about around you because the most important thing is that when people love you it doesn't matter what you can give to them your present alone is the most in Important thing and don't worry about it because you know whatsoever is happening I hate bending my cards whatsoever is happening is that the nine of coins is here and this is saying that you're going to be financial abundant and you don't have to worry about things and everything is going to be working okay because you are with who you need to be with as we look forward you're looking for you're looking out and you're trying to figure out and you have the ten of Pentacles and here this again I'm saying to you because you had the four of reverse as and you have no need because you're wondering how can I make more money I want to make more money I need to figure out a way how to make more money trust me your guides and angels are going to guide you up the right part and how you can do this because um, obviously you want to make more money to help 
out other people and this is going to really happen for you so this is going to be a very very positive positive situation that is going to come in your life and this is going to happen for you in a good way so you know you are thinking about how you can make extra money so you can help and via your intuition the information is going to come in we have the king of cups we have the energy of the king of cups and you have no need to worry okay um, because you king oh you 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 um, men have been worrying about your financial situation do not worry stop worrying it's gonna be okay all you have to do is call upon the universal angels and guide and they're going to help you so stop worrying about your financial situation it's you know whatever this worry is all about it is on call for you don't need to worry because things are going to be working out for you you're on the sign that has the ace of Pentacles the four of Pentacles the ten of Pentacles the nine of Pentacles I mean the most richest people on this planet are Pisces right Pisces and the Capricorns and you know you, you guys are gonna be okay let's see what you men are worrying about what you men are worrying about working hard King of sword and the Knight of Swords oh my god okay obviously some of you have a boss that is I don't know these sort of people keep on coming up they keep on coming and coming and coming and coming whoa don't they have anything else to do <sighs> okay you are worried you're working hard and this 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 king this could be your boss there's someone who is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra is your boss. And he's younger than you are. And you're worrying about, because you're working so hard, and as if this, this man doesn't know a damn what he's doing. And, you know, you're worried because you're thinking, God, I'm giving so much to this company, so much to this organization. And as if this man, you know, he's not aware of what he's doing and, you know, how things are and that sort of a thing. And you're thinking... I'm given so much to this organization or this person and for some people it could be your father that you're worried about your father Wow yeah for some people you're worried about your father for some people you're very worried you're working hard but you're worried about your father so if your father is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra there is a lot of worries about your father and there's a lot of worries about um, some people brother a lot of worries about some people boss okay so you Pisces have once and once you have your father who is a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius you're very worried because this person is sick and you're worried about this person you're about you are on a, a journey you're on a trip a work trip whatever trip it is but you're worried because you know your father isn't feeling well and you're wondering what is going to happen you have the energy of the three of Pentacles with a king of wands the king of wands is someone who is an Aries uh, and you know this is a situation who you have to deal with an Aries uh, Leo or a Sagittarius and you're about to either work together with this person or you're thinking should I work together with this person okay and it could be for some of you women it is your husband or your partner it could be your father also and there is a situation that is going on because you're trying to work together and come to a common ground with this person you're wondering if it's gonna work so for some people it's your father for some people it's a business partner and for some people um, it is your boss so let's see what scenarios are playing out um, listen to your intuition whenever it come on to this person oh my god if you do accept and the king of coins if you do accept this invitation if you do accept because this king of ones um, is either um, okay if this is your father you're working with your father to bring a situation to balance and to light 
for people, sorry, business people, I'm so sorry because I had something that I shouldn't have. For business people, my, my body can't break down glitter. So this is why I'm having this, this tiredness and this yawnness. And that's why I only eat salads and vegetables. And once I eat something with gluten, and gluten is like, you know, things with flour, and I can't, my, my system can't break it down. So I always start yawning, so I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go back to the reading and see what exactly is happening with the King of Wands and working together with this King of Wands. If you're your father, you need to listen to your intuition because there is a situation if it's your father or mother you need to listen to your intuition because there's a situation that is happening so whatever the situation is whatsoever that is about to um, happen you have to listen to your intuition if it's your father okay if it's a business connection um, this is going to be good um, and, 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 and what is going to happen is that um, someone who is a someone who is a um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man or woman and vice versa you're going to connect with them they are going to want to connect with you and by connecting with you you are going to bring magic it's as if they want to connect with you because there is something, a product, a business line that they want to connect with you with. And you are going to bring the magic out for this product of this situation. So these people are going to really want to um, communicate with you because they want to connect with you in a business form. And by doing that, what you're going to see is that you're going to be very successful so if you accept this offer from this um, king of Pentacles or queen of Pentacles it's going to bring you success and it's going to bring you a lot of success okay so that's on that's going to be on Sunday that maybe you connect with someone who is the king of you know the Taurus the Virgo or a Capricorn and they are going to you know by this they're going to bring you success and this is going to be good there is a new beginning that is coming for you that is wonderful new beginning um, you're going to feel completely connected with your soul family whoever the soul family are a lot of people are going to be connected with their soul family there is no need to worry about your financial situation because it's going to be good okay no need to worry about your financial situation because it is going to be good so um, it's going to actually be um, a good week in a lot of sense because people are going to be wanting to connect with you so whatever that this organization was doing um, it's going to come to an end and you are going to be now released from whatever that was happening let's look to see what is your message the number 31 and it says uh, um, alchemy um, mutation alchemy mutation so they want you to start using alchemy in your life to manifest things in your life this is beautiful I've never ever had this one alchemy mutation this is good never seen this one before okay so what is happening here your spiritual growth is changing your mind changing changing your mind body and soul it is very real it is ill helping to you to heal and you to fulfill um, all aspect of your divine destiny it is awakening spiritual talents and attracting in new energies this um, process will um, bring tremendous joy and satisfaction so this is um, very very good and a message to it the invoker of invocation it says I call upon the the beams that love me unconditional and ask for divine grace protection information assistant um, information and healing in all ways now 
and forever. I change and alchemate myself. May my body and mind be supported and recover with divine assistance. I celebrate the alchemy that the light creates and with kindness I allow for it to unfold in my body, mind and soul accordingly to the um, guiding hand of the divine love. May all those on the part of love and light be assisted to walk their part with as much joy and as little suffering as possible. Though my own free will and divine grace, so be it. So this is wonderful because what you're doing is actually transform, transforming the energies around you and energies um, with people around you and this is going to be good and wonderful so let's move on and let's see what is really happening um, for you guys and you have the energy of heartbeat heartbeat so this is a wonderful positive energy you have the energy of heartbeat this is coming in this is positive what is happening is that with the energy of heartbeat coming in it's going to be a wonderful wonderful experience that is about to enter your life so I want to say namaste to you guys and um, I'll speak to you next time